It turns out, and you may have missed this, but there was a big milestone in Avengers colon Endgame. <laughs> this movie broke barriers. This movie had the first openly gay character in a Marvel movie. <laughs> Who was gay, you ask? <laughs> Did Thor grab a hammer? <laughs> Did Iron Man man some iron? Did Hawkeye catch some arrow? <laughs> Did Loki finally stop being so low-key? <laughs> Did Carol Danvers get to les out like she clearly was supposed to do in Captain Marvel, but they were too chicken shit? No. Culmination of a decade of films, a grand finale, a sweeping epic that began when we first found out that Robert Downey Jr. was going to be playing Iron Man and we all said to ourselves, okay, sure, I don't know. <laughs> the first openly gay character in a Marvel movie is in one group therapy scene where Joe Russo, the straight director, played a powerless character, just some guy who is sad, okay? He talks about going on a first date with someone and Joe, in the character of a gay man says something like, I think I may see him again. <laughs> and the, the clouds part and the trumpets play and we have learned that this insignificant, unremarkable, per basically nameless character is the first openly gay character in a Marvel's movie because he went on a same-sex date, off-screen. <laughs> I want to read a quote from Joe Russo about this, where he was asked by The Hollywood Reporter about the scene he said, Representation is really important to us in these movies, and I think the thing we are happiest most about Marvel moving forward is it's becoming incredibly diverse. We've done four of these films, and it was incredibly important to us it was incredibly important to us to have a gay character represented somewhere in one of these four movies. We felt so strongly about it that I wanted to play the character in the film. Thank you so much. Maybe there was supposed to be a gay superhero, but the studio stopped them. Maybe there was supposed to be a more substantial gay character, but it was blocked. Maybe it is incredibly important to them. But this scene is not proof of that. To me, it is proof of the opposite of that. When I was 14, I could have really used a gay superhero in a blockbuster film. And I think now there are a lot of gay kids that could really use a gay superhero in a Marvel movie. They could, right now. And and all these billions of dollars later, all the patting ourselves on the back about how far we've come, all the supposed liberalism of Hollywood, all the fundraisers for Democrats, and all the talk, Marvel has refused to be there for those fans in these movies. That's just the truth. How many movies is it gonna take before Marvel has a gay superhero in these movies? To me, this first openly gay character in a Marvel movie is a sign of how far we have to go, how cowardly corporations can be, and how dangerous it is when so few of them control so much of the media we consume. It is 2019, and we will take to the streets if we must, but we will say it. The guys in these movies are very hot, and it's time they fuck each other. It is a chant I have led led before, let them fuck, let them fuck, let them fuck, let them fuck. I got a thousand Texans calling for gay sex in a Marvel movie. America is ready.